This is the biggest federal effort at revitalizing the nation's sprawling infrastructure in decades. It's probably a generational investment. We've, um, uh, it's, it's the largest uh, increase in, in infrastructure funding that I've seen in my career. It's going to uh, create two million, two million jobs per year over the next decade. Kansas Democrat Sharice Davids last month. She's the vice chair of the House Infrastructure Committee. In broad estimates, Missouri is expected to get $9 billion from this, Kansas about $4 billion. Most, but not all of the money goes towards the area's roads and bridges. Davids, Congressman Emanuel Cleaver, and Missouri Senator Roy Blunt were the only three members of the regional congressional delegations voting yes. Western Missouri Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler says there are too many other things in it. This bill has the wrong priorities. It wasn't paid for. We're just going to further fuel inflation, and it's a gateway to the giant spending bill that the president wants to pass next. Biden's Build Back Better plan now in Congress. The measure increases taxes on the wealthy, people making over 400,000 a year, and Hartzler's right that tax hikes and changes do not cover the entire spending plan. Some money will go directly to cities and projects, but one of the unanswered questions about the plan is how the state will handle their portions of the money. As President Biden comes to Kansas City to once again boost his trillion dollar infrastructure package. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.